Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing. In today's episode, I'm gonna talk about basic MMA defense. It's a little different than kickboxing, so I'm gonna show you how to use your parry and how to use your footwork to safely defend yourself against those small gloves. There's a big difference when you talk about defending punches in MMA versus kickboxing, obviously because of the size of the glove. So with kickboxing, we tend to use the shell a lot, where we can sit in the pocket and be able to hold punches. But this is a dangerous position in MMA because the small gloves can find holes right through your defense. So you, if you're gonna do it, you, it's more as a safety. So I would rely mostly on my shell if I was in trouble. If Matt gets really aggressive on me for that second, I might sit in there just to be able to clinch and grab. Okay, so that's the time I might want to use the shell. Or if he's coming aggressive at me, I might block here and just to get out as fast as possible. So it's more of a last resort. You don't want to sit there and shell up. The worst thing you want to do in MMA. So in MMA now, you, or bare knuckle fighting, you have to rely more on the parry. So if Matt gives me a jab, cross, hook, hook, the basics of all, so you want to use that parry. Okay, and you can see how I move my feet when I parry too. That's the safest way, footwork. So if Matt comes here, I'm staying long, I'm out of the punches, and I'm catching out long. So again, he comes in, if I'm here, I'm using that footwork, evading the punches at all costs. Now, if I wanna stay in mid-range, that's where you have to parry a lot more. So I can sit in here and catch those punches, right? So as the jab comes, I'm parrying the punch. Now, just basic, I did do a video on the parry, but common mistakes you see in the parry is over hitting the hand down because punches can be rolled on top, you can hit. So when I am parrying, my hands are still nice and tight and I'm catching here. I'm not pushing too far forward, I'm keeping my hand as close as possible. To create that extra space, I take a step back. You can see me step back slightly with my footwork. That's because I wanna stay long, and the further away my chin is from those punches, obviously the better. Now you can use the parry in a, in a way to close distance. For those who wanna grab in the tie clinch or the body lock or go for your takedowns, this is where I could pressure with the hands. Guys like DC you see in his fight use it a lot, Daniel Cormier, he can hand fight really well. So you gotta sit in the pocket and be able to catch the punches and control the arms and hand fight as much best as possible. So you wanna have control of your opponent's hands. This is where guys like John Jones like to use their elbows because they can sit here and they can come down, hand fight, control the hands, attack with elbows or the knees and get different types of clinch grips from there. Okay, so the first one with the parry, I move my feet, staying at long distance. I wanna come forward, boom, I can come in, use my pinch at that time. Staying stationary, moving, or pressure on the inside. I like the pressure on the inside because I'm almost jamming the punch. So before even Matt throws, I can kind of catch the punches a little bit more. Now for the parry, especially on the hooks, I need to be able to block with some stability, use the shoulder muscles. So when Matt throws that hook, I don't wanna keep it very flat like this. I want a slight, um, turning my palm forward. This way I can engage my, my rear delts and be able to get more stability in that power. And then I can kind of control the hand and attack from that position, okay? Now, the other thing you wanna do is you wanna rely on your eyes a little bit more. You don't wanna have to sit there and always use the guard. So if Matt does throw punches, I can use the head. I can see a little bit, I can pull, and I can catch. So sharpening your eyes is very important, okay? So I'm able to mix, I can catch and stay long. I can very, use my head movement slightly. But again, same as kickboxing. Kicks and knees are a factor in MMA, so you don't wanna rely on the head movement too much. Rely on the sharpness of your eyes to be able to pull, catch, and catch tendencies in your opponent's striking, okay? Another way I like to block, if I have to kind of use a modified shell, is I like to use the point of my elbow, okay? It's almost like my hand, so if Matt throws a punch, I can catch. If he throws a one-two to me, one-two. I'm using my footwork to create the space, but I'm also using the point of my elbow, okay? So he comes in, and then if he does throw a hook off of that, I can catch here if I need to but using my eyes, using that nice lead wedge. So even if he's just jabbing me, boom, boom, boom. I'm moving 
and I'm trying to catch his knuckle on the point of my elbow. If he throws hard enough, boom, and I catch that, that's gonna hurt his hand and create damage off of my block. So using this lead wedge, and I'm keeping the parry here so I can block a jab here or I can block a jab here, okay? So I'm using that point of my elbow, creating space with my feet, okay? So Matt and I now are just gonna go back and forth with the same combination. But realistically, when you're fighting, you're gonna mix and match all the different types of defense. So if you wanna use parry, catches, head movement, using the point, okay? My eyes, you have to rely on all of them to be successful, okay? So Matt and I go back and forth. Okay, using that clinch. So after you get more comfortable blocking the punches, you can see Matt and I adding those little counters to see that you can sharpen the eyes and find some damaging punches off the blocks. Defense for MMA, very basic at this point, but just understand that it is different. You can't rely on that shell. The little gloves can get through and you don't wanna get hurt. So use that shell as a last resort. Use it to clinch up safely or use it to protect your head if someone's really aggressive to get out, move your feet. But key one, move your feet. Use that triangle step we always talk about. Create that space and that distance where it's hard for your opponent to catch you, okay? The parry. Catch the punches. You have to be able to catch them hand fight a little bit more than you would in kickboxing. You see a lot, you have fingers in MMA. Grab the wrist if you have to. Grab both wrists. This way you're safe from your opponent punching you. I really like to use my parry to get inside to get into the tie clinch because I like to use the tie clinch when I'm doing my MMA sparring. Okay, so mix and match the different types of defense and keep training your eyes. It's all about your eyes and understanding distance and where the punches are coming. Okay, so make sure you keep like, keep subscribing, and let's keep growing the channel.